It's been the dominant story this week that Al Jazeera journalist Shireen Abu Akhle was shot dead in the occupied West Bank, despite having been clearly dressed as a member of the press and having announced her presence to the Israeli army. They shot at her and her team, killing her and wounding her producer. The reporting of it has either been non-existent, exemplary, or typical of the reporting of any Israeli atrocity, describing the situation as crashes, trying to implicate Palestine instead, sowing seeds of doubt that an apartheid state waging war and stealing land could possibly have committed a war crime. This should be an outrage. Western media should be screaming over this. And if it had been anyone but Israel, they probably would be. Just why does that nation get a free pass on its appalling murderous conduct? Fear of being called an anti-Semite? It isn't anti-Semitic to criticise an entire nation for its conduct. No nation can be put beyond reproach. Yet Israel seems to succeed at doing just that. Incidentally, anybody watching and thinking of calling me one can save themselves the bother and just go and fuck themselves. Another reason for this may be Israeli influence elsewhere in the world, and nowhere is that more apparent in the UK than in the Labour Party. It is led by Keir Starmer, a man who has stated he is a Zionist without qualification. Anyone who has been suspended or expelled on trumped-up accusations of anti-Semitism can attest to that. Isn't it notable that it is always that form of racism, not others, that people seem to get purged over? But most notably has been in the aftermath of Shireen Abu Akhle's murder, Labour Friends of Israel has sent Wes Streeting on an all-expensive paid jolly to Israel. He has continued with this trip. There are many photos out on social media if you can stomach his gleefulness. He just has one of those faces, doesn't he? Streeting hasn't put out a single tweet about Shireen, not even a retweet on the subject. Labour Friends of Israel haven't tweeted about it either. Shireen couldn't even be laid to rest in peace. Where her family were receiving condolence in a local church, the police came along and tore down the Palestinian flags outside. They raided the woman's funeral, dragging her brother away for interrogation. There are, it has to be said, few countries that disgust me more than Israel. My disgust for them is only exceeded by those who consistently defend them when they're behaving like this and deflecting from their atrocities. Labour, if it had any sense at all, would disband its friends of Israel. But of course they won't.